Well, we've got this pipe network here, and one of the issues that people often have is trying to balance um, pipe networks where they're using group aggregation. <coughs> the idea of balance is we want all the holes to contribute reasonably equally. We don't want to have dead patches where we've got holes that aren't really collecting much smoke, or systems where basically smoke collection is dominated by one or two holes, therefore becomes very vulnerable just those one or two holes if they were to get blocked then the whole system would be badly affected. So the balance figure, which is this figure here, um, is the figure that represents how well, basically how even the, the flow is between all the holes. It's a ratio of the worst, the, essentially the lowest flow to the greatest flow. And we can set a, a threshold for, for that to apply. So, if we, um, at the moment we can see that we're not balanced, in fact we're far from it, we've got 32% balance. And if we look at the colouring here, the red shows us this is where we've got the worst performing hole. And it's a bit of an artificial one, you can see I've got a 2mm hole and the rest of 4mm, so it's not surprising that it's not balanced. Um, what we can do is just use, we could fix it, try and fiddle with this ourselves, or we can use this tool up here, which is an auto balance tool. And that basically goes through and automatically tries to find a solution that will actually meet our balance criteria, while at the same time ensuring that the pressures through the holes um, at transport time are adequate. So let's give that a try. And sure enough, we've come up with a solution here. In this case, it's dropped other hole sizes down. We've now got 93% um, balance. So it's gone and modified these hole sizes to get a balanced solution. Um, if we weren't happy with that, we can always do undo to go back to where we were. So we've got our hole sizes back again. You can calculate we're back exactly where we were before. So that's just so achieving balance um, is often using the auto balance tool gets you very get you a good solution. If you can't get a solution there, typically you're going to struggle, and often we have problems with that is if you've got very long runs. That just by the nature of it, um, the flow through your first hole is going to differ from the last hole. Um, you can vary the hole size along that pipe, but you typically are going to have trouble if you've got very long pipes. So. In general, it's better to um, avoid that situation where you can.